Well, Wednesday's story about the urgent financial need of a rural African American museum in Opelousas brought a number of responses from you, our viewers. But there was one in particular, one person who saw that $11,000 debt as a chance to touch lives and protect history. Scott Brazda has the next chapter from Opelousas. We are back in Opelousas. We're back at the Rural African American Museum just a day after. And I am pleased to say that for Wilkin Jones, the curator, we've got some good news. So our story aired yesterday about the financial constraints of the Rural African American Museum. We have been notified, you know, if you don't come up with X amount of dollars, that you will be removed. In other words, evicted. And Ms. Crystal Mafus of Lafayette just happened to see that story before the sun came up. So it was four o'clock this morning, couldn't sleep, uh, decided to grab my phone and opened up Facebook and the story popped up that you did with Mr. Jones yesterday. Crystal Mafus then picked up the phone and said, hi, Mr. Jones, this is Crystal Mafus. Um, just wanted to know if you're still looking for contributions. And when she told me that she was willing to donate $12,000 to the museum. Well, he was a little silent for a moment and he said, wait, did I hear you correctly? I see you joking, huh? She said, no, I'm serious. Crystal was going to mail the check from her Ace Specialties office, but... I think they've run into a little problem. They're not able to put it into the mail. In fact, Mr. Jones, this is from Crystal Mafus to the Rural African American Museum, $12,000. Whoa. It's good people like Crystal Mafus doing good, good things and paying it forward. To me, it was God speaking. Um, and it took me back to 2015 when I prayed to God every day. Show me a sign. Show me what I'm supposed to do in life. Um, I can't give up. Tell her, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, one other note, I asked Mr. Jones, I said, how does it feel to be able to have all your bills paid? And he goes, man, I can breathe again. Love doing those kinds of stories. In Opelousas, Scott Braz, the KTC TV3.